Hey farm friends, today I'm going to show you how to grow sweet potatoes. In order to grow sweet potatoes, you first need to start with sweet potato slips. One of the easiest ways to grow your own sweet potato slips is just like this. All you do is buy a sweet potato, you put toothpicks in the side of the sweet potato, put it into a jar, fill it with water, and allow it to sit for several weeks, and you'll get these big, long, beautiful slips. Once they're about a foot long, I like to cut them off and I will plant them in the garden, and from there they will grow sweet potatoes. Here's another easy way to create sweet potato slips. If you buy a sweet potato, you can plant it directly in potting soil, lightly cover it, and then you will start to get new growth off of these potatoes in just a couple weeks. Once that growth gets about a foot long, cut those slips off and you can plant those out into the garden as well. These are two unique varieties of sweet potato. I got these from a Latin market. This one is a boniato and this one is a batata. And from what I understand, these are less sweet varieties of sweet potatoes. Some people think it's a cross between a white potato and a sweet potato. Technically it's not. It is in the sweet potato, the Ipomia family, but they are less sweet than a traditional sweet potato. And they have white to yellow flesh. The reason I chose these is because my fiance doesn't love the super sweet sweet potatoes. So this is a great alternative to use in those savory dishes and as a replacement for traditional white potatoes. So I will put these in the pot. I will add some potting soil on top. I just lightly cover the sweet potatoes, just enough to cover the top. And then I will water these every few days until they start to sprout those slips and I can cut those and plant them out in the garden. And of course, I'm using my high-tech watering bottle. This was a former Diet Coke that we drilled holes into the top and now we have the best watering device. So I'll leave that now, let the slips grow in a couple weeks, and I'll plant those out in the garden, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, here we are between our conna lilies and our turmeric plant, and I'm going to show you how I plant the sweet potato slips. So first I cut off one of the slips. Here we go, this is about close to a foot long, and I cut off all the leaves except for one, and then I will plant it just like this sweet potato slip underground. I wanna make sure that there's at least two to three of these little nodes under the ground so that they can root and they can take hold in the soil. This sweet potato vine is gonna become the ground cover for this area. And after three to six months, we will be able to harvest these sweet potatoes for some big delicious tubers. This is what just a few months of sweet potato slips looks like. It can take over, create this big, dense ground cover, which is great for out-competing the weeds. Also, sweet potato tops are edible. I love to use these as a sauteed green with a little garlic and onion, put a little maybe coconut aminos and olive oil on there. This is a delicious edible green. So periodically we will cut some of these greens and eat them in our dishes, but also you can continue to create new slips from your existing sweet potato slips. So you never run out of sweet potato vines. And then after your three to six months, you can pull all of this back and you can start to dig underneath to harvest your sweet potatoes. There you have it. That's the simple way to create your own slips and grow some delicious sweet potatoes in your own home garden. <laughs>